Hi, welcome back to Team Water Sheep Reviews. And today, I've got one of these. Now this is an OSD, I think it's called N1 OSD, that's compatible with the NASA, NASA light. And quite simply, you unplug your GPS and plug the GPS in there. You plug this where the GPS was unplugged from into your NASA board. Then on the back, there's two leads and one says video in and one says video out. So you've got power and video in and out. So you put that in, in line camera in VTX on the other side. If you use in a Beck, it's going to tell you what the Beck voltage is. So what I suggest, you put the voltage on the voltage in, on video in, or video out, either or, but you put that, take that from the voltage of your battery. So when you see on the OSD the flight battery voltage, you know it's not the Beck, it's actually the battery itself's voltage. So it gives you a better idea. Otherwise you'll be reading a constant voltage, you won't know when your battery's getting low. So that's something to be uh, mindful of. I'm now gonna strip down my, my NASA system. I'm gonna put it into the discovery. So I'm gonna strip that down and I'll show you how it works. But what I've done, I've got the camera and I've got the two wires there where I've split the video now. So I've got an ability to, to do that. I've taken 12 volts from the, I say 12 volts, it's the battery voltage because I'm running it on a 3S battery and I've put it into a plug so I can just simply plug it in. So I'll just connect it up and I'll show you. Oh, there's the GPS. So that's gonna plug into the unit and this unit is gonna plug in there and it's where it came from. So quite simply, as you can see, I've plugged in the, the NASA uh, GPS into there, plugged that in there. What I would recommend is you actually put a little bit of hot glue on these plugs to stop them accidentally pulling out. Because uh, even though they, they're plugged in, if that unplugs, then you're gonna lose everything. The GPS, and then you, the, you lose the ability to return to launch. Uh, and there's the video. Video feed's been split between camera and VTX, and I put power in, as I said, from the the main power. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna power it up. There is a button on there. That's for going through the menus. So I'll quickly go through the menus, and I'll hopefully be able to show you on my base station. When you have it, this is what you'll be greeted with. All double dutch means all gibberish. So basically what you need to do is press and hold the button. Take the first option, press and hold, and then change it to English. Press and hold, and then that's it, you're in English. You've got the voltage calibration, get a meter on your incoming battery and adjust that calibration so you, uh, you it matches your battery voltage. Uh, video format, now these are the different styles, how you want the, the the interface to look. I've gone with the iOS, which is basically represent, rep, uh, replicate, sorry, the NASA um, OSD. Um, height device, defaults to barometer, always better to run on the barometer. Um, direction device, compass, the GPS compass, GPS type NASA, you can run it on your own separate one. Custom menu, you can actually, if I press and hold on there, you can position all these things are the, are the things that's displayed on the screen. If you notice, I put, I've put switched off one to try and that was vertical speed. Didn't see the point of it, but they're the items that's on there. Longitude, latitude, your total journey, home distance, home direction, height, so on, so on. Um, and how many satellites, uh, azimuth, anyway, so. Go back to main menu, press and hold. Like I said, short press is to scroll through, long press to action. And 
that's basically it so if I go to exit when I exit the menu it will save all my settings and there she is she'll reboot and it's all in English and as you want there's the little circle at the top of the screen if I move because it's not got a home lock you can see the circle is gone this arrows peering on the as I rotate my uh, quadcopter you get the arrows when you get back into onto target you'll, you'll get the little circle there but obviously the home is where it's currently situated so yeah very simple I'm going to fit it in for the time being because I'm going to give it a try I've calibrated the voltage and it's all looking quite positive what I have found there's a little bit of flicker you can probably notice a little bit of shimmering going on not overly impressed with the uh, the quality of the shimmering with the overlay so I'm going to try a different camera and see if it makes any difference and then failing that I will I will check out uh, a line filter and see if it makes any difference so I'm getting a bit of interference on my receiver from your normal channel so anyway yeah I will uh, put it back together and I will do another demonstration when it's flying right it just changed cameras I'm now on a run cam swift um, what a difference so the flick shimmering was actually my camera so currently it got in there the run cam swift so looks like my disco is going to be upgraded with the run cam so hmm spending some money on this baby right there it is all plugged in sat on some some pads sat on top of the knees board so everything's plumbed in looks a little bit hectic there so i got the glue gun ready i'm gonna put some glue on the plugs because i don't want things unplugging while i'm flying so and i think that will be uh pretty good like i said i tried it with a different camera so i got the run cam on there the difference was phenomenal obviously that old panel cam over there is now uh, outcast so yeah i'm looking forward to testing this one out so i'll just put it back together and i'll take some photographs all back together so just powered it up run cam swift on the front and what a difference oh let's see if i can hold the camera steady all right that's better that's on the stand so as, as you can see there's so far in the conservatory here i've got six satellites you can't quite see it there but because the, there's an overlay from my um my vcr in my base station but the flight time will be there battery voltage up the top here and then your flight statistics there there's a little diamond there which i'm pointing at that is actually the home point so when you fly in when you see that little circle dancing around that's where the launch site yeah should be apparently whether it works or not is another thing so yeah i put this run cam on what a massive difference i've got no shimmering or flickering with the with it now it's uh, really nice so yeah really pleased with that i hope it uh, i hope somebody uh, if they're interested in buying one for your nasa then uh, yeah it works would recommend the plugs I felt a bit flimsy so get them nice and tight hot glue them in and you shouldn't have any trouble with them but i am looking i am seriously considering a separate uh, gps puck for it and I'll, I'll i'll just mount it on the on the arm i won't bother putting it on the stand i mount it out on one of the arms to give me um because it's less critical so but uh, yeah i'm really pleased with this so it's looking good and i would recommend it so yeah buy one and stick it in 25 pound ebay there's lots of them about being sold but i bought it from a uk supplier on ebay 25 pound i'll put the link below okay then 
so that's all from team woolly sheep reviews for today and i better tidy up before the wife gets home because she ain't going to be happy like i said i've taken a day off work and this is our conservatory she's gonna go nuts so i better tidy up so if anybody knows her don't tell her please goodbye